welcome to IAS project. You can watch this video in Hindi also at our channel IAS project Hindi. In our previous videos, we have talked about prehistoric period, stone age and paleolithic age. In this video, let's talk about how we can classify paleolithic age into lower paleolithic age, middle paleolithic age and upper paleolithic age. And after that, we will also discuss about Lower Paleolithic Age. Let's quickly see the definitions of these terms. Prehistoric period was such part of the past where written records were not available. And Stone Age is such part of prehistory where stone tools were exclusively used. And then Paleolithic Age was such part of the Stone Age where the climate was of the Great Ice Age. That is the Pleistocene Epoch. And in Paleolithic Age, there was no agriculture and the people were mainly hunters and gatherers. Now, let's look at the classification of Paleolithic Age, that is the Old Stone Age. Paleolithic Age can be basically classified or divided into three parts. And the basis for such division is the type of stone tools that were used in these periods and the nature of change in climate that happened. We will discuss more about this, but for now, let's look at the divisions. We know that Paleolithic age started somewhere around 2 million years ago and it lasted up to 12,000 years ago. The first part of the Paleolithic age was called as Lower Paleolithic age. Lower because we have already discussed that in the concept of mound, the lowermost layers are the oldest layers and the uppermost layers are the newest layers. If you want to know more about mound, you can look at the video, the link for which is being shown here. So, the lower Paleolithic age was the first part of Paleolithic age. And it started around 2 million years ago and it lasted up to 50,000 years ago. The second part is called as Middle Paleolithic age, meaning the remains can be found between Lower Paleolithic age and Upper Paleolithic age over here, which is nothing but the middle part. Middle Paleolithic age started 50,000 years ago and it lasted up to 40,000 years ago. Therefore, we can see that the time period of Middle Paleolithic age is smaller compared to Lower Paleolithic age or Upper Paleolithic age. And the last part or the newest part of the Paleolithic age was Upper Paleolithic age. Upper Paleolithic age started somewhere around 40,000 years ago and it ended at 12,000 years ago. So in this case also, just like Mesolithic age was seen as a transitional period between Paleolithic age and Neolithic age, we can consider the Middle Paleolithic age as a transitional phase between Lower Paleolithic age and Upper Paleolithic age. Let's talk more about Lower Paleolithic Age. Lower Paleolithic Age is also sometimes called as Early Paleolithic Age because this was the earliest part of the Paleolithic Age. So, in Paleolithic Age, first Lower Paleolithic came and second Middle Paleolithic came and third Upper Paleolithic came. After this, there was Mesolithic Age and after Mesolithic Age, there was Neolithic Age. So, this is how the changes happened. The Lower Paleolithic Age is also sometimes called as Early Paleolithic Age. And the time period as we have discussed, it started around 2 million years ago and it ended around 50,000 years ago. As we have already discussed in our previous videos, this time period is basically an approximation or a generalization. It is not same everywhere in the world or even everywhere in the subcontinent of India. So, if we see the Lower Paleolithic Age occupies almost 1.95 million years out of the total 2 million years that was the period of entire Paleolithic Age. So, we can say that the Lower Paleolithic Age is the largest part of Paleolithic Age because the remaining parts that is Middle Paleolithic Age and the Upper Paleolithic Age are of only 40,000 years. Therefore, the Lower Paleolithic Age was the largest part of Paleolithic Age. 
as the lower paleolithic age was the first part of the paleolithic age it can also be called as the oldest part of paleolithic age if we talk about the stone tools that were used during the lower paleolithic age they were mainly hand axes choppers and cleavers we will discuss about these stone tools shortly all these stone tools were mainly made from prepared stone core and such method of preparation of the stone core was called as lithic reduction what do we understand by lithic reduction we know that the word lithic means stone and reduction means removal so what we do basically is we take a pebble and using another stone this stone is generally called as a hammer stone using another stone which can be called as a hammer stone what we do is we strike this pebble on repeated striking what happens is parts of pebble start to break away now when they break away we will get a new edge like this this edge is usually sharp and now this stone can be used as a stone tool such preparation is called as lithic reduction and what we get after this preparation is called as a prepared stone core so this is a prepared stone core we have talked about the stone tools used by lower paleolithic people what did they use these tools for these tools were mainly used for chopping and cleaving of meat or chopping of plants skinning of animals or digging of ground whatever the type of hand axes that were used by the lower paleolithic people within the subcontinent of india they were more or less similar to those hand axes that were used in other parts of the world like the hand axes that were used in western asia the hand axes that were used in europe and africa were very similar to those hand axes which were used in subcontinent of india let's look at the stone tools used by lower paleolithic people in a bit more detail so the stone tools used were one hand axes two cleavers and three choppers these were the main stone tools that were used by lower paleolithic people you can see the images here this is a hand axe this is a cleaver and this is a chopper what they used to do is for example if this is a hand axe what they used to do is they used to hold the hand axe with their hand like this i am not a very good artist i hope you can understand that this is a hand these are the fingers this is the palm and this is the wrist okay for example this is their hand now what they used to do is they used to strike with this on whatever they want to break so this is how they used hand axes in most of the books you will find the diagram like this that is in 180 degrees rotated manner so please don't get confused i have rotated this so that you can understand it easily if you look at the hand axes hand axes have one blunt side and one sharp side on the blunt side they used to hold it with their hand and the sharp side was used to strike whatever they want to break if we look at cleavers cleavers basically were very sharp like this cleavers were prepared on both sides so it is sometimes called as a biface tool it just acted like a knife yani chaku ke tarah use hua tha and moreover you can see that the cleaver edge is somewhat like this flat edge it is perpendicular to the axis in which we are striking so this is how a cleaver was different from a hand axe if you look at the chopper the chopper also has sharp edges and was prepared on both sides but the chopper's sharp surface is generally curved the cleaver's sharp surface was not curved so this is how chopper is different from cleaver but please understand there are so many variations in these tools and because of such variations it is not always easy to understand what is chopper and what is a cleaver the images here are only for representation purpose to just give you an idea moreover the images or how the stone tools were is not important from the exam point of view it will only help you to understand how lower paleolithic people used these stone tools in india lower paleolithic people also used stone tools similar to oldowan stone tools and acheulean stone tools that were actually used in africa so indians also used stone tools very similar to oldowan stone tools and acheulean stone tools acheulean hand axe is shown here 
Acheulean hand axe was the most famous Acheulean stone tool. If you rotate this hand axe by 180 degrees, it looks something like this. Alright. So, this is also called as a teardrop shape or pear shape. So, Acheulean hand axes were usually of teardrop shape or pear shape. Please remember that the Acheulean hand axes were associated with Homo erectus species. Obviously, the similar design was also used by Homo sapiens. Oldowan tools as well as Acheulean tools were used across Africa, Europe, West Asia as well as South Asia. South Asia means basically Indian subcontinent. And these were used by lower Paleolithic age people. From prelims exam point of view, it is very important only to remember that what are the stone tools used by lower Paleolithic people. So if the question comes in prelims, what kind of stone tools did lower Paleolithic people use? The answer would be simply hand axes, cleavers and choppers. That's all. You don't need to remember all of this. This is only for your understanding purpose. Let's look at how the stone core preparation was done by a method of lithic reduction. We have already talked about lithic reduction. Lithic means stone, reduction means removal. So what you are doing in this picture basically is, this is basically a pebble and you are hitting this pebble with another stone. So slowly and slowly you are removing all these parts. And when you hit with another stone, that process is called as napping. K is silent, so it is called as napping. So because of napping with another stone, what happens is you are going to break away small pieces of stone. And after breaking away these pieces, whatever is there, it is called as a stone core or a prepared stone core. In the lower Paleolithic age, a stone core was prepared for making any stone tool. And the process of preparation was called as lithic reduction in general. Lithic reduction has various kinds of other processes like napping. As I have just told, napping means you are hitting a bigger pebble with another small pebble. The bigger pebble becomes stone core and the smaller pebble is called as a hammer stone. Pressure flaking is also used for lithic reduction. This is not much important from the exam point of view, but if you still want to know, you can just Google it. So once the stone core is prepared, this stone core can then be used as stone tool. And this was the most preferred method of making stone tools in lower Paleolithic age. This is how the lower Paleolithic age hand axes, choppers and cleavers were made. If we talk about the next age, that is Middle Paleolithic, in Middle Paleolithic, what they used to do was, they used to prepare stone core and after preparation of stone core, they used to create what is called as a flake. See, if you see here, this part, whatever is removed, is called as a flake. That flake was usually very thin, but it is very long. So something like this. This was the flake. And the core stone was something like this. So flake was very useful in preparing blades because you can just sharpen it and now this can be used as a blade. So this is how the flakes were used in middle paleolithic age. Please remember flakes were not used in lower paleolithic. Flakes were only used in middle paleolithic. In lower paleolithic only prepared stone core was used for making hand axes, choppers and cleavers. In middle paleolithic Flakes were used to make tools called as blades, burins, points, scrapers and borers. We will talk about this in our middle paleolithic video which will be the next video. Let's look at some of the important lower paleolithic sites in India. The first one is Sowan Valley. We already know Sowan Valley is in northern part of Pakistan. Kashmir is also having lower paleolithic sites. Then we have Shivalik Hills, which has lower Paleolithic sites. Shivalik Hills mainly is in North India. It extends from Pakistan to Northern India to Nepal. Then we have Belan Valley, which is in Uttar Pradesh. Belan Valley, as we have discussed, is very close to the confluence of Yamuna and Ganga rivers, that is at Prayagraj. So Belan Valley is very near to Prayagraj. We have Hiran Valley in Gujarat over here. Didwana 
which is in the Thar Desert area of Rajasthan is over here. We already talked about Bimbetka. Bimbetka has lower Paleolithic, Middle Paleolithic as well as Upper Paleolithic sites. It also has Mesolithic and Neolithic sites also. Then we have Deccan Plateau, basically this region which is called as Deccan Plateau. We also have Chota Nagpur Plateau which is mainly in Jharkhand over here. You can see this is Chota Nagpur Plateau and Atirampakkam in Tamil Nadu over here which is very close to Chennai. If you want to download this presentation and all other notes for ancient Indian history, just go to our telegram channel which is IAS project. Also, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, go to our other YouTube channel which is IAS project Hindi. Here you can watch all videos in Hindi language. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.